Calculation of a mean square value. A battery of total EMF, capital V, is connected to a resistor R. As a result, an amount of power, P is equal to V square over R, is dissipated in this resistor. The battery itself consists of capital N individual cells connected in series, so that V is just equal to the sum of EMFs of all these cells. The battery is old, however, so that not all the cells are in perfect condition. Thus, there is only a probability P that the EMF of any individual cell has its nominal value lowercase v and the probability 1 minus P that the EMF of any individual cell is uh, 0 because the cell has become internally shorted. The individual cells are statistically independent of each other. Under these conditions, calculate the mean power dissipated in the resistor. Express the result in terms of n lowercase v, p, probability p, and resistance r. Okay, so we have uh, individual uh, cells. Uh, a total of capital N is a total number of uh, cells. And the voltage we read, capital V, is sum of the EMFs of the individual cells. So I call epsilon I EMF of the i cell. So therefore, if I look at the values of the EMF of the i cell, uh, where i goes from 1 to n and add them up because they are connected in series, uh, I will see that I, will, I can calculate the total voltage V uh, across the resistor. So I have uh, the total voltage V that appears across the resistor. And then I'm calculating the power dissipated in the resistor as V square over R. Okay, uh, now I want to calculate the mean power. So uh, since the power is V square divided by R, if you take its mean value, the resistance is just a constant, 1 over R, uh, V square mean value. So the question boils down to what is the mean value of uh, V square? Uh, well, since the uh, individual cells are statistically independent, if you look at epsilon 1 bar, epsilon 2 bar, etc., they're all the same. I call it epsilon bar. So therefore, the mean voltage that appears here is going to be equal to capital N times epsilon bar. On the other hand, uh, V square is sum I equals 1 to capital N epsilon I multiplied with sum J equals 1 to capital N epsilon J. So once again, I can write this V square as consisting of two terms, I equals 1 to capital N epsilon I square plus I not equal to J uh, all the way up to N from 1 to N uh, epsilon I epsilon J. So uh, when I take the average value of this, I get uh, capital N times epsilon square bar plus capital N capital N minus 1 epsilon bar squared. So since we have done this many times in the previous three problems, I'm just uh, doing it automatically now. Uh, so if you have any doubts about this calculation, you can go back to the previous uh, three problems. Okay, so uh, I know what epsilon bar is, which is, uh, well, I, ha I have to calculate epsilon bar and epsilon square bar. Okay, so let's do that. Epsilon bar, well, epsilon has a value uh, v, lowercase v, with probability p, 
p and it has a value of 0 with probability 1 minus p so epsilon bar is vp epsilon square bar epsilon square has a value v square with probability p and 0 square with probability 1 minus p so it is v square p so therefore I can calculate uh, v square bar v square bar let me take this equation here capital N times epsilon square bar plus capital N capital N minus 1 epsilon bar squared so I have found that epsilon square bar is v square p so this is v square p and then I have capital N capital N minus 1 epsilon bar squared that is v squared multiplied with p squared so uh, you can see that I can write this v square bar as um, capital N v square p plus um, capital N square v square p square minus capital N v square p square so that's basically uh, what I need in order to get um, v square bar uh, and the power will be the mean power will be given by v square bar divided by r so if I take this into n square v square p square parentheses n square v square p square over r um, the first term I will get here uh, I, I have a 1 over n p um, because the first term was n v square p and then the second term is just 1 and the third term will be minus uh, so I already had v square p square but I'm missing an n so it is minus 1 over n so if I multiply this uh, with p and divide it with p I get the following result the mean power is n square v square p square over r um, I have 1 plus 1 minus p divided by n p okay so uh, I have a battery that has total EMF capital V capital V is the sum of all the EMFs of the cells that it's made out of there are capital N individual cells each individual cell operates independently of the other others so it has there is statistical independence and each such cell can be shorted or it can be alive which means it will have an EMF of epsilon equal to a lowercase v nominal value normal value v and I want to know what is the mean power since the power across the resistor is v square over r the mean power is mean value of v square divided by r so since v is i equals 1 to n capital n sum of all the uh, emfs because they're connected in series i can write v square as the product of two v's so it is v times v uh, where each v is sum i equals 1 to capital n epsilon i or j equals 1 to n epsilon j so if you do this um, multiplication you will have uh, the same when i is equal to j you will have epsilon i square when i is not equal to j you will have cross terms epsilon i epsilon j and epsilon uh, i equals 1 to an epsilon i square gives me an average capital n times epsilon square bar 
and for the other one because i goes from 1 to n uh, j has to be different from i uh, there will be capital n times capital n minus one terms uh, times epsilon i epsilon j epsilon i epsilon j bar is epsilon i bar epsilon j bar because they're statistically independent uh, so we have capital n times epsilon square bar so for epsilon square bar i have to know epsilon square possible values one value is v square with probability p the other value is zero square with probability one minus p so it is v square p epsilon bar is uh, epsilon possible value is v with probability p zero with probability one minus p so it is vp so substituting this epsilon square bar and epsilon bar values into the uh, v square bar i have capital n epsilon square bar plus capital n capital n minus one epsilon bar squared uh, by substituting these values i i calculate uh, the mean power as capital n square v square p square over r one plus parentheses one minus p divided by np